Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have my quarterly update to everything that I am currently panning. I like to break this up into two videos. The one that you are seeing today is everything that is not makeup, skincare, hair care, nail polish, perfumes, etc. And then in two days, I will show you all of the makeup that I am currently panning. I have gone through all of my spreadsheets with all the different projects that I'm participating in and pulled out every single product. Now, I will not be popping the names of the products up on the screen, but if you look below in my description box, I will have playlists for every single project pan that I am doing, so you can go check those out in case you are interested. My inspiration for this type of video comes from Jessica, Amanda, and Paula, and I will have them all linked down below. Like I said, these are the products that I am currently panning. If I have hit my goal on an item, I'm not gonna show it in here because I'm not currently panning that item. For instance, if I've hit pan in an eyeshadow and I haven't had a chance to update that project yet, I'm not gonna show it in here. So some of you may see some spoilers. There is going to be one spoiler for an upcoming project pan and I will explain why I'm gonna show that product in here when I get to it. The goal for all of these products is to finish, unless I say otherwise, I'm gonna try my best to remember what the goals are on each of these items, but the grand majority of them, the goal is to completely finish. So let's start off with my body lotions. I have 10 that I'm currently panning. They are all from the brand Hemp's. This is the Love Out Loud Juicy Pineapple and Creamy Coconut. I have the Sugared Banana and Vanilla Blossom. Pumpkin Spice and Vanilla Chai. Sponge Sugar and Vanilla Bean. Mandarin Orange and Key Lime. This is the Wrapped in Red Cherry Cheesecake Chaser. The Sweet Pineapple and Honey Melon. This is the Happy Collection Edition. This is the Sweet and Zesty. This says Sweet, Pineapple, and Honey Melon, Yuzu, and Starfruit. And this is the Sparkling Citrus and Starfruit Herbal Body Moisturizer. And then I do have one of the Original Herbal Body Butters from Hemp's. I do have two hand lotions that I'm working on. The first one is from CeraVe, the Daily Moisturizing Lotion. This is a little sample, but this is lasting me. This is into my third month. This is taking forever to use up. And then I have one from Hemp's. This is the Apple Cinnamon Shortbread. I have one body wash. This is from Native. This is the Coconut and Vanilla Body Wash. I have four body scrubs in here. The first one is from Trader Joe's. This is the Brazil Nut Body Scrub. And then the rest are all from Tree Hut. I'm actually working on two of the Tropic Glow body scrubs. You can tell I've been working on this one. And then the last one I have is the Pineapple Scent. This one smells amazing. As far as like sheet masks go, I'm working on three. They're all from the Creme Shop, the Be Perfect Skin Animated Cat Face Mask. I have three of these. And then I do have a foot peel. This is from Baby Foot. It says exfoliation foot peel. And then the perfumes that I am working on. The Dolce & Gabbana Dolce Garden. This one is decanted into another container, but I'm still working on it. This one is from Billie Eilish in the scent Eilish. I have one, I believe it's pronounced Moogler. This is Alien Goddess. This is from Lake and Sky, 1111. And this is Commodity Gold. This one has a usage goal of 50 uses. I'm working on four makeup removers. The first one is from AOA Studio. This is the Green Tea and Vitamin E Cleansing Balm. And then the other three are all from Pharmacy. They're the Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. I have two of them in the scent Lemon Mist. And then I have one in Sweet Apple. For hair care products, I'm working on the Garnier Fruit Teas Full Control Anti-Humidity Hairspray. I have from Biolage a Strength Recovery Strength Repairing Spray. From IGK, I have the Mistress Hydrating Hair Balm. And then the rest of the hair care products are all from Not Your Mother's. This is the Curl Talk Frizz Control Sculpting Gel. This is the Curl Talk Curl Activating Mousse. This is the Royal Honey and Kalahari Desert Melon Leave-In Conditioner. 
And this is the Matcha Green Tea and Wild Apple Blossom Butter Mask. Next, I have exfoliators. I'm not quite sure if this one should go in the body scrub category or not, but this is the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow Body 12% AHA BHA Resurfacing Serum. From Skin & Co. Roma, I have the Truffle Therapy Face Gommage. I have the Sunday Riley Good Jeans All-in-One Lactic Acid Treatment. And from Ula Henriksen, I have the Lemonade Smoothing Scrub. I have one Micellar Water. This is from Garnier. This is the one with Vitamin C. I have two toners. This is the Pixie Glow Tonic Exfoliating Toner. There's just the littlest bit in there. And then from Biro, this is the Bitter Green Essence Toner. I have three facial cleansers from Pharmacy. I have the Clean Bee Ultra Gentle Facial Cleanser. From Good Molecules, I have the Rosewater Daily Cleansing Gel. And then I have the Urban Hydration Bright and Balanced Aloe Vera Leaf Face Wash. Next, let's get into the eye creams, moisturizers, serums, and all of that. I actually have four eye creams that I'm working on. This is the Skin & Co. Roma Truffle Therapy Eye Concentrate. This is from IT Cosmetics, the confidence in an eye cream. I have the Ula Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. And then I have the Clarins Total Eye Lift. This is in a project with a goal of 50 uses. I have one sunscreen from Mario Badescu. This is the oil-free moisturizer, has an SPF of 30. I have one oil from Fourth Ray Beauty. This is a Marula oil. From Murad, I have the Invisiscar Resurfacing Treatment. I have two night masks. This one is from Glow Recipe, the Avocado Melt Retinol Sleeping Mask. And this one is from Pharmacy. This is the 10% Niacinamide Night Mask. I have a couple of items that have the term mask in them, so I've kind of put them together in a category. This is from Pharmacy, the Honey Potion Renewing Antioxidant Hydration Mask. From Pure Heels, I have the Propolis 80 Sleeping Mask. I have the Honey Halo from Pharmacy. From Youth to the People, I have the Superberry Hydrate and Glow Dream Mask. And then from I Do Care, I have the Cake My Day Hydrating Sprinkle Wash Off Mask. Let me show you what this looks like. Can you see all those cute little sprinkle colors in there? This smells like you're wearing cake on your face, like vanilla cake and frosting. Smells amazing. <laughs> So those are the masks that I'm working on and then serums and all of that. I have the Glow Recipe Plum Plump Hyaluronic Serum. From Pharmacy, I have the Honeymoon Glow AHA Resurfacing Night Serum. From Charlotte Tilbury, I have Charlotte's Magic Cream. From Philosophy, I have the Renewed Hope in a Jar Water Cream. And then from IT Cosmetics, from their Confidence line, I have Confidence in a Neck Cream, Confidence in a Cream Rosy Tone, and then just the plain Confidence in a Cream. And then the last category that I have is all of my nail stuff. I have the Orly Cuticle Oil, gold to finish. There's no way I'm gonna finish this. I'd be happy if I can even make a little dent to where you can see that it's moved down the side of the bottle. From Sally Hansen, I have the Super Shine Top Coat. Goal is five uses on this. From Pacifica, I have the color Red Velvet. My goal is to finish this. From Zoya Polish, this is in the shade Storm. My goal is five uses. I have a one use goal on the Cleona Hydra of Learn a Nail Polish. And I have a one use goal on the Lumen Snowflakes Fairy Polish. Now here's the one that's a little bit of a spoiler. Today I have this video going up and in two days I have the makeup version of this video going up. However, right in between, I do have my update to same pan next year. I have rolled in some makeup products and some nail products. So you will see the makeup products in the video that goes up the day after. So I thought I'd put the nail polishes in here to show you what they are, even though it's a little bit of a spoiler. I didn't want to show you the makeup portion of the items that I rolled in and then not include these items as well. 
That's probably a little bit confusing, but I hope that makes sense. Anyway, in that project, I did roll in all of the Hollow Taco Unicorn Skin Nail Polishes right here with a goal to use them one time. So those are also in a project, even though you haven't seen that update yet. That is all of the skincare, hair care, nail polish, etc., that I'm currently panning. I'll go ahead and pop a picture up here on the screen so you can see what it looks like all spread out on my bed. It is a lot of items, and like I said, the grand majority of all of these items, the goal is to finish. This is a lot of products and it always looks like a lot. However, if you compare the pictures from quarter to quarter, you'll see that there is a lot of changeover, lots of things being finished and lots of new items being rolled in. This video really helps me when I'm planning out future panning projects. I can see where I have gaps in the items that I'm panning or where I am panning way too many things and maybe I need to not roll items in in those categories. So I find this really helpful. Like I said, the makeup version of this video will be up on my channel in two days, so be sure to look for that one as well. Before you go, if you haven't, I hope that you'll please subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Mm -hmm.